Trevor Gard from National Pacific Valuers and we're about to hit the road in his new Tesla to do a property valuation in Port Douglas. So Trevor, you've just bought this Tesla and you're really focused on sustainability at National Pacific Valuers. Why Tesla? Why so much focus on sustainability from your perspective? Look, I just think it's important for small businesses and even large companies to start making these small steps, you know. Yes, we're trying to go carbon neutral and be one of the first valuation companies to do that. And, um, you know, that's just something we believe in. And then people are starting to realise what, what's up in regional Queensland, you know, places like where we're going now, Port Douglas. A lot of people were going to Bali or Fiji for their holidays now, you know, they're looking to come up here and once they're up here they're going, well, you know, we've got money um, or, you know, equity in our properties down south, let's let's purchase our holiday home up in Far North Queensland. It's safe, it's clean, um, you know, who knows what's going to be happening overseas over the next year to two years. So, um, and where else would you rather live? Oh, exactly, you know, we're in paradise at the moment, so. We sure are. Yeah. How beautiful is this drive to Port Douglas? Well, one of the best in Australia, isn't it? One yeah, of the best of, it is you know? just magic. And, and going up further to the Daintree, it's just like, you know, people from down south that haven't been here, they're, they're absolutely clucked away. I know, we take yeah. it for granted, don't we? Yep. So there's a lot of activity out there in the marketplace with properties, and you were saying to me that the demand that you've seen is quite unprecedented. Well, there's a lot of factors going on. You even look at rental rates at the moment, you know, they're at 0.6%. Um, nobody can find a property to rent, you know. There's so much investment going on in the region um, due to low interest rates, people having equity in their properties down south and looking for somewhere to invest, um, you know, and, and the way that the region's been promoted um, over the last couple of years, um, people are starting to realise that the paradise isn't you know, just in Fiji or Bali, it's it's here. Um, and, and what the Kansas City Council has done with the Esplanade, the Botanical Gardens, you know, it's a lot of the areas starting to feel like just a resort. So. This city is looking great, it, isn't it's, it? It's brilliant. I mean, you just got to take your hats from it and and just give you know the gratitude where it's due. You know, it's just like they they have done a great job. So when I speak to real estate agents out there, and I'm always talking to them because. They're out there, they're talking to the customers and they're selling the properties obviously so they know what the market's doing in that aspect. And I've asked them, do you think that this level of demand is going to continue? Because the old saying is with every boom there is a bust. And a lot of them have said to me they don't actually think there's going to be a bust in the normal sense of the term. They think it's going to be more of a plateau and there will still be solid demand because of all of the regional factors and all the positive factors uh, with our environment, uh, the amount of space people have for their properties here versus down south. They think that there's still going to be a lot of attractive um, purchases out there. Yeah, definitely. You know, you, you look at like globalisation and how, how the economy was really promoted with globalisation, but we've had to go reverse to that now. And so our economy is running by, you know, I guess promoting this region, manufacturing, rural, and all that, and it, it, it can work, you know. We, we, we don't need to go overseas and do all these investments for, for, for our economy to be strong. In terms of the technology, what we were saying before is you are really focused on the technological aspects of the way in which you do your job, obviously, with the technology in the car and being able to dictate and uh, do quotes on the fly uh, to send back to your office so that they can be turned around quickly for the credit providers. But also in the way in which you do your valuations, you're trying to create a point of difference with that. I know when we arrive at the Escape Villas up here in Port Douglas, we're going to be meeting up with a drone uh, pilot and we're going to be capturing footage of the property for the credit providers. Can you explain to us what your your um, plans are with that? Yeah. For the detailed reports that we do, the commercial reports, um, the credit managers for the large banks, they don't know the region, you know, they're based in Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, 
we're trying to show them through our reports and through our description in our reports and how much detail that, that, that they are is that they basically get a bird's eye view of a, a commercial property that we're doing or a rural property that we're doing. You know, some of the questions are, you know, where, where is this property? Where's the demographics of the, of the property? You know, if it's a hotel, they're concerned about, you know, making sure that a lot of people can just walk to the hotel. Um, so putting a drone up and putting a link in our reports basically gives them a, a clearer picture of, of the property. I guess it showcases the property in a more positive light too, given that they can see, like you say, the area in which it is. And I guess for, for credit providers, most of them are down south, let's be honest. And the more clear a picture you can give them of the property, the better for the customer, yeah? Yeah, well, it's not, it's about doing our job too. It's not about just positive. Like if there's neg negative aspects to the property and these, these, you know, the large banks are lending millions and millions of dollars to the property, they want to know exactly what's going on around it. So, you know, if there's a service station next door or there's, um, you know, a dump behind it, yeah. anything like that, you know. So that shows them I mean, we have to, you know, explain the negatives and positives for, for that particular property. I know when Gasana Bood invested in the region a number of years ago, people were talking about that being unprecedented and it certainly was. There hadn't been any new um, resorts or hotels um, built in our region for over 20 years. But now there's talk of more. Do you think that he's sort of been that catalyst for that growth? Uh, definitely one of them. Um, you know, let's face it, Cairns needed the, the resorts that he's, he's developed um, over the last few years. Um, we're happy to be involved in, in some of that work. It's definitely promoting the region as like, yeah, we're not just a backpacker uh, economy anymore, and we definitely need more of them, and there are more to come. There are developers down south that are looking in places like Port Douglas and Palm Cove that are really going to show um, that this region is set up for five to six star um, yeah, resorts. And a lot of local developers that have got residential uh, developments underway. Yes, and again, obviously because of COVID, there's a lot more people wanting to move, move here, got money to spend. Um, yeah, developers that are selling, you know, their first stage within a week. Um, Crazy. Yeah, and that's you know that's not just a one-off story. You know, you hear about um, a lot of a lot of properties um, selling, you know, with two to three days on the market and selling for above asking price. You know, demand is there, and I think I mentioned before about the, the rental market is, yeah, we've never seen this before. It's just like, yeah, try to find a, a good quality home to rent at the moment, and um, you just can't. Everyone wants to live in paradise, what can we say? Yeah, yeah, well, I guess maybe, you know, people like you know, me and locals have, have realised this for, for a long, long time, and, um, you know, I, I go down to Sunshine Coast a lot, and I, I love it down there, but to be honest, when, when I can drive five minutes from my house to my office and drop my kids off all within 10 to 15 minute period, oh. it's just like, to me, it's just, uh, you, know, you can't do that anywhere else and, and, and have what Cairns has to offer. So. And all the cultural aspects that we've got now and the restaurants and resorts, golf courses. Yeah, we are very lucky. the escape collection for John Morris and his family, one of their many developments that they've done over the years. I guess this is just at the first stage, this development. What are you looking forward to checking out today? I looked at the plans for, for this development. Um, I know that they're just about 90% complete. You always get obviously a, a better idea when um, developers of developments are almost complete to looking off, off the plan. Um, yeah, and the views, you know, looking over the golf course on the second level of these villas is, um, yeah, it's going to be magic actually. And uh, I hope that they do really well. And I'm sure, sure they will because anything John seems to touch and he knows knows the uh, knows the property market like nobody else up here. So yeah, looking forward to having a good look around.